Okay, guys, let's talk about some words that have the short A sound. A says ah. Now we're going to work on unblending some of these words. So at home, I want you to work on this with me. If you have some boxes at home that you can draw on a piece of paper and maybe take some beans and slide them into the boxes as we say the sounds, that's one idea. Or your mom and dad can reach out to me and I can get them a box that looks like this with some counters. So let me know. All right, if moms and dads are listening, let me know. The first word that we're going to unblend is sat. Sat. Now your A says ah, sat. So I'm going to write the word sat. Actually, no, I'm not going to write it yet. I want you to unblend it. Sat. Ready? Here we go. S A T. Sat. All right, everybody look at your first box. What says S? Think about it. You're right. S says S. So I'm going to write an S right here. Look at your next box. What says A? Ah? Think about it. Ah, you're right. A says A. Ah. Sat. All right. Your last box says T, T. Think about it. What says T? Ah, you're right. It's T. Okay, so before we can erase our boxes, we need to do something called touch and say. So everybody take your finger and put it right here on this first counter and say it with me. S -a -t. Now slide your finger along the word. Sat. Hey, good job. So we're going to put our counters back down here. And we're going to erase our word. And I have another word for you. All right, your next word is going to be at. So I want you to go ahead and say that word at home with me. Say at. All right, now we're going to move our counter into the first box. Ready? Here we go. Ah. Say it with me. Ah. T. Ah. What does our first box say? That's right, it says ah. A says ah. Ah. Our next box says t. T says t. Ah. T. At. You do it with me at home. Ah. T. At. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a tool for your toolbox, just like if you were working on something. Everybody who works on something has to have special tools in their toolbox. When you're learning to read, it's no different. You have to have tools in your toolbox to learn how to fix a word or attack a word that you don't know how to read. So the first tool that I'm going to give you, and if moms and dads are listening, this is something you can use to help your struggling readers at home. Have them hang out on the vowel. Now I know all you big kids in first grade, you know this word, at. But we're going to pretend like you don't, and we're going to hang out on our A. Are you ready? At. At. So if you're stuck on a word, try hanging out on your vowel. At. At. All right, let's do one more. We're going to make it kind of a hard one. Okay, so our word is Sam. And we're going to unblend Sam. Here we go. S eh, mm. Did you hear that eh in the middle? It kind of sounds like an E. But I'm going to write Sam down. Look, here I'm writing Sam. Is that an E in the middle? No, it's an A. So a long, 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 long time ago, when our language first came to America, it came from England. And in England, they say their A's differently. They say, ah, they say, Sam, Sam. We say in America, Sam, because of the way our accent sounds. So if you are stuck, here's another tool for your toolbox. If you are stuck on an A-M word, or you're stuck on an A word, try sounding it out like you live in jolly old London and say, Sam, Sam. And that will help you. So here we go. Let's use our counters for Sam. S A M Sam S A M Sam. 
All right. You guys did really, really good. Thank you for joining in. Bye.